No, I'm late, but what a win for the Seattle Seahawks. They beat the New England Patriots 35-30. to And James White, I'm sorry what happened to your, parent, your uh, father. Hopefully your mother's okay, man. Just, yeah. Just hope things get better uh, soon for what, you ha what you're going through. So, <sighs> Cam played, I felt like, pretty good. I mean, even though we talk about how, like, how Seattle and Cam has these struggles with the Seattle defenses over, over these years against Seattle, he played, I felt like, pretty good. Reminded me of the classic battles him and Russell had when he was in Carolina. And this game felt like that. Cam rushing, I'm not surprised. I really wasn't. So, Elman, oh my god. God, the fact you gave elements so much, there's just still some problems. Russell Wilson, five touchdowns. Man, you fantasy people must be happy. Run game for the Seahawks, I felt like it was all right. Pretty good. Oh, man, Metcalf. <laughs> you had a fight with Gilmore, I got to say. Seattle had more time for possession. The more of the total yards. Ran, ran the ball 154 yards and 275 passing. But the Patriots did outbeat them right there. And more first downs and nine penalties. My God. And there was a pick six in the beginning of the game. Almost like the beginning of the game. So, what did this game tell us about? Well, I will be honest. Before I go anything, anywhere else. Pete. Third and one. Like, I, I get the part where you're going to pass, but the fact that it came down like this. It should have never came down like that. I'm not saying as a blowout. I'm saying as how the whole thing played. I'm just, I mean, like, come on. But overall, like, I get the point. Like I said, I get the point. I get the point of passing, but at least do it like a really, a really uh, good quick slant to lock it or Metcalf, and both those guys were balling. Same with a uh, David Moore, <laughs> but. I want to say this kind of tells me something about Cam as well. How he's redefining himself. He really is. New England's not a bad team. And it was so odd to see CenturyLink Field with no fans at all besides the four showed on NBC Sports right about there, you know, in the sweep room. But New England is still... A good team. They still have like Gilmore, who was Defensive Player of the Year. Cam Newton somewhat refining himself. And I just look at this type of game and how New England's season will go. They could keep this up, even though they lost. They still played a heck of a game. They kept keep keep this up. They could win the AFC East and get back to the playoffs. Don't mark them out. Just don't. And then I look at Seattle. Look at how all the injuries has happened, especially for the Niners standpoint. Now, it is early, but at this standpoint, you may need to mark off the Niners and, you know, it will help Seattle a lot. But Seattle still has a season left. There's some things I still think they need to be need to fix. Once again, I felt like this defense, even though we lost Diggs, and, you know, I can't blame that. I can't blame that, you know, Diggs gets tossed out. And I'll be honest, he did deserve it. I, I will be honest right there. He did deserve it. I mean, as a Seattle fan, even meant, admitting that. But still, there's just some, that defensive line hardly, like, what, one sack on Cam. The defensive line is still the problem. I mean, yes, you have great linebackers. And all right, pretty decent corners. Jamal Adams, who I felt like did pretty okay in this game. Just okay. I mean, there were moments that he gave up some points to Elman, but still, though. Still, the defense still needs to be worked up. I mean, I'm not concerned as much as the Seattle's offense. <laughs> and I will be honest. Uh, that pick, uh, I can't blame Wilson for the pick six. I just can't. I mean, Olsen was just 
you know, yeah. But still. Seattle's offense is not much of a concern, even though their offensive line, I thought they were all right. But still, though, still, though. Some concerns still about that defense. The Seahawks will play the Cowboys next week, and that's going to be a big game, especially when the Cowboys somehow pulled a miracle. We'll see what happens next week. So, Seahawks win this one, 35-30 over the New England Patriots. Go Hawks.